Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Today we are going to look at and build Lego Friends Heart Lake City Park. I cannot believe that we haven't had a park for Heart Lake City yet. We've had like a playground, but no park. Okay, so this set is 432 pieces. It's $70 here in Australia, which is quite steep, but if you get it at places like Kmart, it's always cheaper. So that's a really good hint. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for buying Lego in Australia. Plus, of course, you can just wait for sales if you can wait. Okay, we have got uh, some stickers there. We got five bags. Yeah, five bags. And, oh, a little green base plate. And our instruction book, which looks, yep, exactly as I expect it to look. So that's nice. Okay, first up, there are actually... Oh, four mini figures or four characters in here and we're gonna meet them as they come in their bags and the first one is Emma and Emma is wearing a top that we've only seen once before and now I can't remember whether this is the top that Roxy was wearing or whether this is the top that she was wearing in the accessory store but you can tell me in the comments I just can't remember in the top of my head they were both coral and I've forgotten I forget so much stuff okay but I haven't forgotten this is Emma so that's really really great so Emma is ready to hang out in the park she has got a stick so according to instructions we give her this stick for whapping <laughs> see that person over there who did not pick up their dog's poop whap <laughs> no, that's entirely antisocial. Let's just move Emma out of the way now because oh, we've got another one of the little cute micro dolls that are now showing up in the Lego Friends set. So this little dude, according to the according to the to the box, this is Henry. I'm not certain what relation he is to anybody, but he's entirely new. His body, his outfit, and his face print is all new. His hair is not a new hairpiece, but I think it's so cute. It's like being slicked across somebody's. His mum has licked their hand and smoothed his fringe over but can't just get that little tufty bit at the back so he's cute he is all done up ready for the party and we're just going to try something because I just have to for science see how this looks okay so doesn't look so great that when when we do a head swap and put that head on Emma but I just had to give it a try and now we can say we've done that we can put them over here oops sorry <laughs> <laughs> Let's start building. Emma's got a stick, so she's going to keep an eye on, on Henry and just give him a little poke if he gets out of line. Ah, I'm a bit too excited about the random stick that Emma's holding. Okay, building. Of course, this is the park, so we got lots of green. Oh, well, a bit of green. We've got green happening on the bottom. Oh, a little mushroom cap with that, that smooth bowl lampy bit. I love that piece. That's so cool. This is... Who, okay, so P loves E, so somebody loves Emma or somebody loves Ethan? My gosh, who the heck is P? Uh, all, all I can think of is like Peter, Olivia's original dad. Is her dad even still called Peter in the reboot? Who else is called P? It's probably somebody really, really, really obvious and I can't think of it. Right, this other little uh, bit that's going on the tree, that's got to be Olivia because it's a, well, I'm, I'm stereotyping of course, but I reckon that one's a little uh, Olivia universe thing, Saturn world planet thing uh, with a heart on it. But I, who is P? P loves E. Uh, okay, so we have got a box with a whole heap of stickers going around the side and they're creating a fringing or a tassel with some lollies or a single lolly in here this is a pinata this is what the stick is for so we're going to be using that stick for whapping the pinata <laughs> children are going to be really really disappointed because there is one lolly in there uh, lucky at the moment there only appears to be henry here at the party out of the little kids uh, not that big kids don't want lollies too i can guarantee big kids and adults will also be quite keen to have some lollies out of that pinata got some balloons going over here to the side so we've got a perfect party getting set up in the park this is so pretty balloons off to the side there's a table and now we get a birthday cake so this is being decorated with that drippy piece that we saw introduced last year was it last year so the new cake piece well newish cake piece and a candle which does not go in the middle which is really really breaking me so one there's one candle in here so apparently henry is one he seems a little bit older than that to me i reckon he i reckon the micro dolls look a little bit like they are three or four or even five not as little as one. Anyway, we got one present here. Token present. Maybe Emma brought that one as well as the stick for the pinata. And over in the little watery bit, we're putting some shiny dots in here. 
and it probably doesn't really matter where I put these but I just want to make sure that they're in as per the instructions and now we're at the end of that bag and we've got some extra pieces <gasps> including what we need to make another <laughs> another candle so I'm making Henry two now he's two I'm putting two on that that just helps with my aesthetic because the fact that I could not center that one candle really was hurting my brain a little so now we are on bag number two and in bag number two we've got Olivia she is wearing an outfit we have seen before but it's a cute one so I'm okay with having this one again so Olivia nothing new about Olivia but she is now here at the party let's put her in charge of Henry <laughs> looks a bit like she's scolding him standing there looming over him that was not deliberate okay over here next to the river we've got a nice little flower little lotus flower and a frog so it's just beautiful here in the park today we got mushrooms we've got a frog we have got what I think is being a sweet little bridge to go over the tiny bit of river so we've, it's a pink bridge pink bridge with some gold embellishments on the side gold railing ah that's cute and nice big oh nice big white arches to really round it out over the sides there looking good let's put Emma on here so she can provide a bit of perspective to the build some enormous reeds on either side of the little rivery bit there <laughs> they're really really tall actually the reeds do grow that tall don't they do they kind of maybe maybe not a like above head height or oh, do they just shows how little I know about these sort of things there are some balls of purple flowers light and darker purple going on either side and now we need some more foliage because it's a park and without foliage it would look horrifying we do not want a concrete park that's an entirely different kind of park I like a naturey park works very well for Heart Lake City so we have three of these which are identical according to the according to the instructions hopefully if I follow the instructions and they clip in up here and they provide a little bit of camouflage for that platform up there and the little cupcakey thing that's sitting up in the tree too did you see that go in so now now that we finish with the tree we get this thing here thing which is a kite it's oh, oh it's so colorful it's beautiful it's the most beautiful kite so it goes on the transparent roddy thing <laughs> everything's a thing and that's going to mean that we can suspend it and this whip part makes the tail I love this and it's not finished yet because for the finishing touch we actually get a clip to put a bow on the tail so this actually plugs in here oh that's so pretty oh my goodness that's adorable okay so a clip on the other end means that we can attach this basically wherever we want but we're going to put it up here above the bridge because that that's where it's supposed to be in the instructions we're up to bag number three and we get another minifigure the last of them mini dolls sorry different things so this is Ethan and Ethan has got a new top that's exciting because it's nice to have some new boy tops it doesn't look as though there's no printing on the back so I'm just wondering whether hmm, okay I'll have a look in a moment so same face that we've seen for Ethan before I really want a new face for Ethan he this looks like kind of like an 11 year old or a 10 year old boy and he doesn't look like that in the series anymore yet so it's the old form of torso I just had to check that okay so Ethan is over here now doing some supervising because Olivia was 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 a little bit heavy-handed with that before and now now it's time to work over on this part of the green and see what else we have in the park so there's a birthday party set up over to one side we've got a bridge coming over to this section here and we're getting all of those little white things such an excellent descriptor word thing it really covers a lot of the problems that I have with actually finding words to describe stuff and stuff stuff is also an excellent excellent descriptor so we've got things we got stuff and we've just added this little rounded out blue section so it's it's kind of okay so that's what those are for I, sh I knew that so we have to line these up so that the arrows go the way they say in the instructions I actually don't know what happens if I don't line them up with the way they're supposed to go with the arrows where they're supposed to be I assume it wouldn't work I should actually try that I have not actually tried these without following the instructions so that's cool look at this we've got all these little turntables so everybody can turn at the same time <laughs> get giddy and then have some throwing up time after the party which can often happen at toddler parties too 
<sighs> I'm speaking from experience as a mother. Now, over here we get a whole heap of pink platforms on top of the turny platforms. So look at that, that's so much fun. Oh, okay, so we've got some more of these rounded window frames like we saw in Andrea's house. But these ones are getting the lattice, the gold latticey bits in them. I actually tried to pop these window bits out and it's really, really hard to get them out. So they are really firmly in there. They're going on the side of our turny platforms and it looks like they're kind of the railing or the, the what do you call it, fencing. <laughs> do you call it fencing? Fencing instead of windows in this particular capacity. And this is the jetty out onto the water and it gets some gold columny things and they get some little white dots on the top too to finish off the top. And it looks like that's all we're going to be doing there. So now we've got some more green and we're adding some green on top of it to add it to our other bit of green. If I differentiate it between the light green and the dark green, that'd probably be a better descriptor. But anyway, we've got some more reeds going on so on the side here, which would be useful for holding on to if you actually fell in. We're up to the next bag. Anyway, I got distracted by the reeds. Big arches going over our turning platform. So this is turning into a, gaz a gazebo or a rotunda. Do you call them rotundas where you live? in the world or is that an Australian-y thing? I think a gazebo is probably a more common term for this little kind of covered area in a park or in a, in a, in a public place. Okay, up on top of our gazebo, which is what we're gonna call it, we uh, have got stickers which are going on either side. So same if we're viewing it from the front or the back, we can tell this is Heart Lake City Park. I know because I can read the signs and taking it up to a point. But before we finish going up to the point, we've got this other little pointy bit with a Technique bit in the middle, which means we can turn it from up here. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's that's so beautifully finished. So we can turn the platform underneath so they can have <laughs> they can have a waltz in the gazebo and this on its own little bit of blue sea -y, ocean y watery stuff which is not the sea or the ocean in this particular instance but it's the lake <laughs> around Heart Lake City this is a uh, I was gonna say it's a floaty but it's not really a floaty well it has to float, otherwise it's gonna be a drowny, which would not be so good. So this is a swan boat. What, well, like one of those ones that you pedal around in and you go out and you have a little romantic ride around out on the lake. And do you know what? I actually remember back when they did the Lego Friends competition, one of the finalists actually had a park with Heart Lake City and it had one of these boats, these swan boats in it as well. So I wonder if Lego took some inspiration from that particular entry. So now we have the eyes for our sleepy swan boat and it's so beautiful, but we do have to have, think about safety. So there are a couple of life vests included here. We're just gonna put them off to the side because I'm going to throw safety to the wind and we're gonna put Emma and Ethan in here and they can try out the swan boat first. I love the little opening wings for the doors. That's so cute. Okay, we're up to bag number five, which has a lot of brown in it. And I think I even spied a squirrel. So looks like we're gonna be building a nice big tree on this side, which would be perfect. Some more mushrooms or toadstools. They, they gotta be toadstools because they're red on the top, but they're really, really adorable. Another one of these, uh, flower ball things so a bunch of flowers making it pretty in the park and now we get to build our tree that's definitely a tree trunk we've got another okay j and a in a love heart Ooh, so that's definitely jeremy and andrea i know this one why do i not know who p loves e is you guys are going to tell me in the comments and I'm going to smack my head against the wall and say, that was so obvious. How was I not seeing that? <gasps> Elvendale. Oh, an Easter egg to the, oh, the sadly lost Lego elf sets. Oh, that's cute. It's so good that we're having some little Easter eggs in here. So another cupcake going over here. Why on earth is there a cup? Okay, so it's not a cupcake. It's the nuts for the squirrel. Okay, <laughs> I was not so thinking it was a cupcake. And this little pedestal -y bit up here is another place where you can put the squirrel and there's another stashing his nuts away for the winter oh wow okay and maybe oh my goodness is this miss spry is this like the chipmunk from all the squirrel i don't remember now was it a squirrel or chipmunk chipmunk squirrel from the elves series but in 
the normal Lego Friends form. And then when it goes back through the portal, she becomes the color that she was before. Okay, now I'm just making up conspiracy theories and I need to stop. We're making foliage, which is so much better than conspiracy theories. We're putting these all on, on the little hooks like we did on the other side of the other little platform up there for the squirrel. Squirrel? Yeah, squirrel. And it's going so well. Look at that. I could do with a bit more foliage here, but you can angle those those branches however you want. And we're done now. And there are all these little places that you can put the squirrel and we can <laughs> try and fit the swan boat under the bridge and like fail horribly. This is so cute. There are so many, so many ways, like little stories happening in here. We can play with this so many different ways and set it up so many different ways. So I'm going to see whether oh, I really prefer to take that white bit off and Olivia can fly the kite here on top of the bridge. It's a shame that Henry can't hold anything in this set apart from maybe the bow and a flower. Oh, oh but you know what? The kite could. The kite <laughs> the kite will inevitably end up in the tree because that's how it always happens if you take a kite to the park. That is how it ends. Everyone goes home in tears and, and it's been a fun day at the park. But no, we've got a party and a piñata and a swan boat and a dance floor and this is an awesome set and long overdue for Heart Lake City. I just wish it was bigger, but I wish everything was bigger and if it was bigger, it'd just be more expensive. But anyway, okay, we've got to the end of the build. Thank you so much for joining me, sharing the build with me. Make sure you pop back in, make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought about this set. Give the video a thumbs up. My goodness, that's a whole heap of instructions. Just do some of that stuff, but definitely check back in because there will be more videos really soon. All right, I'll see you soon. <laughs> so many soons. Bye.